So I finally decided to jump in and actually get the OV tune for the Tacoma. Um, I was holding off for a while on it just because I didn't really know if I needed it. But the more I've been reading about it and seeing what they've been doing with the transmission shifting issues and everything else, I decided to try it out and see how it goes. So I got it on the truck probably a little over two weeks ago and so far it's been great. I went on a long trip uh, this uh, past weekend and I got better highway miles than gas, better highway MPGs than I've gotten ever before since I put on the 35s. The shifting is a lot less confused than it ever was. It actually goes into six gear now, so um, I managed to get better gas mileage with the AC on on a 90 some degree day than I did in the winter with no AC and de uh, colder weather outside. Um, the roads were the same roads I used before, the same highways. It, so it, the driving aspect is a lot more fun, a lot more peppy. I've been running the 93 performance tune with the gear lock. Um, I'll probably be experimenting with some of the other tunes just because the performance tune throttle response is a little too sensitive for me uh, for daily driving. But even with that, it's it's been it's been great. The car feels awesome, very peppy, and uh, like I said, it's actually given me a few MPGs. Uh, just mostly from sh being able to actually shift into six gear and not being so confused that it's downshifting when not needed and doing weird stuff. Um, this is obviously a temporary solution until I finally get it re-geared. Um, just on, uh, the re-gearing has just been on hold because I don't feel like driving to North Carolina currently and getting the gears installed. Uh, but eventually that's going to have to happen and we'll see how much better the truck runs with the new gears then but for now this is just a temporary hold up that actually surprisingly is a, a nice very nice mod now it, it is all it is awesome tuned but there's a few things that I wish they would uh, change one of which I kind of wish the gear lock option was on all the tunes, not just on the performance tune for people like me who don't want to run the performance tune the whole time. Also, I really wish they had a module like the scan, like a scan gauge or something like that where you can sh change tunes on the fly. This would be like a small screen that's hooked up to your OBD port uh, the, uh, the whole time, kind of like a scan gauge and you uh, you could and it allows you to change tunes whenever you want wherever you want so you don't have to have a laptop on hand that would make life so much easier cuz i for one don't carry my laptop with me and i don't want to just choose one tune and have to ride it out all the way you know if i want to run the the better gas mileage tunes on lower octane or even on 91 octane, but fuel economy tune, I'd like the ability to, hey, the way, the, today I'd like to just goof around in the performance tune and just be able to switch it and then at the end of the day, or after I'm done playing around with it, switch it back without having to pull a laptop out and do everything else. Easily doable, uh, just, I guess, uh, hopefully OV tune is paying attention to this and eventually does that. I don't mind I don't mind buying another module to hook up to the truck that allows me to do this. Uh, it would be a lot easier than just doing it through a laptop. Just my personal preference. Um, there's plenty of other imports that allow you to just you know flip through tunes with a with a actual module or actually with just hitting a button in the car multiple times and it flips through different tunes. So whatever is easiest, it would be great. It would just allow us a little more control over, you know, what tune we want to run at which time of day or whatever. 
um, it's just a little something that's a little more helpful than just carrying around a laptop to do this. Now, um, I haven't driven it too long. Two weeks, I guess, is a short period of time. So, so far, everything's nice and great. So, I'm going to keep driving it, try out different tunes. I'll continue to update you with the other tunes that I use and let you know which one I like the most. Um, so far, the performance tune is, is fun, but... I find myself uh, hitting the throttle a little too much and would like to stay off the police radar, so I'll probably be switching it to something that's a little more uh, fuel economical and keeps me from wanting to speed a little as much as I have been with this one. But all in all, it's so far a great product, so we'll see how the rest play out, but I'll keep you guys updated. Anyways. Thanks for watching this, and um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section, um, or on IG, hit me up, and I can answer whatever questions you have. Oh, and one more thing, if you're a Mac person like me, the, to in order to tune your car, this has to run on Windows, and I usually run Windows on a VM on my Mac, but apparently that's not compatible, I found out. So I ended up having to run Windows on Boot Camp in order to be able to communicate with the vehicle and actually tune it. Um, so just a heads up for anybody who is a, uh, who's a Mac person and doesn't really have a Windows dedicated laptop, but there's a, there's a workaround, so um, you'll get it done. Um, and if you do get the tune, the best instructions I found were not the written instructions that they had, but their actual video. And pay attention to which options they choose at what point in the video, in the, in the drop down menu, because that will make everything go a lot faster. Um, it's not specifically written out in their instructions, at least the ones I found. So um, it led to a little bit of confusion. It took me a little longer than it should have to tune the truck first time around. Anyways, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up. I'll be more than happy to help. And thanks for watching. Bye.